friends are mourning the death of former UH football coach Greg McMacken. Our Kyle Chinen has a look back at his career and his lasting impact. Those close to him consider Greg McMacken a key part of the success of the UH football team in the 2000s. While many remember the high-scoring run-and-shoot offense, Coach Mack was the mind behind a swarming defense and a successful head coach in his own right. But they will also remember him for his kindness. Coach Mack took over as head coach of the Bows in 2008 after the sudden departure of June Jones. Previously the defensive coordinator under Jones during the undefeated 07 season and the 1999 turnaround season. He spent four years as the head man in Manoa, racking up a 29-25 record and two bowl game appearances. A defensive-minded coach that created a ferocious front for the Bows. Some of his former defensive assistants caught off guard by the news of his sudden passing. Uh, very shocking because uh, there was no indication of you know, Mac being in poor health. I know some people had talked to him just as of yesterday. So it was something that uh, I think almost everybody was very surprised at. Those who suited up for Coach Mac say he always knew how to get them fired up. He would be raging and just trying to get guys fired up. And I, you could tell that he was a defensive coach and a defensive mind guy because he just always was trying to get the guys riled up, whether it's bringing in chains and breaking laptops, um, all, all kinds of stories that, that flood through my head. While always keeping the players as his first priority. Bring back great memories of Coach Mack, just trying to get the guys going. One thing I love about Coach Mack is that he was always a player's coach. Yeah, he definitely was a player coach. You know, he'd sit you down, talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. He, was, he was that way in front of, in front of the whole team. Um, you know, I can remember personally him kind of sitting me down in the summer and and having just an honest, frank conversation, truthful conversation with me about, you know, just preparing myself for, for my upcoming senior year and how he thought I had a bright future if I can commit myself uh, during the offseason. Coach Mack will also be remembered for his kind, gentle, and caring spirit. Like he was a gregarious. Like if we would take the team to go Friday night to go to a movie before the big game on Saturday, Everybody in line would recognize Coach McMacken and he'd buy them all popcorn and drinks and he was everybody's favorite uncle. Greg McMacken is survived by his wife Heather, daughter Shannon and two grandchildren, Kayla and Taylor. Taylor taking to social media to say, you were my father, my best friend and my number one fan. Words will never be able to express our relationship and the impact that you have had on my life. I will miss you every day until we meet again. Love you coach. Greg McMacken was 77 years old. Kyle Chinen, Hawaii News Now.